What is poppin', my Waddle Gangers? It is Dad Green Waddle D, and we were just having a nice chat with uh, Treetop Yoshi here. Let's switch to him. Um, it's another episode of Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, and today we're going to be playing Sponge Cave Spelunking. Oh, we got a new power badge. Uh, make all yarn balls big. That does what it sounds like. You can click view. Oh, never mind. It just makes all the yarn balls big. So bigger yarn balls, they can like pierce through multiple enemies. So like, um, if there's two enemies in a straight line, uh, the big yarn ball can like hit both of them, you know? Whereas a small yarn ball would stop at just one of them. And the bigger yarn balls are easier to land on enemies. Uh, okay. And... Push this fuzzy rock to roll it over uh, enemies. Jump on the edge to get it moving if it gets stuck. So we got the chomp rock. And we're actually going to start by pushing it to the left instead of the right. Because you can break this immediately and get this purple yarn. I know this has uh, screwed me up in the past, that yarn. I've gotten tricked by it. I've gotten uh, absolutely bamboozled by it before, so... Um, uh, I remembered this time, thankfully. Okay, and we get this little thing right here, and then that makes all these beads appear. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go up right here, because we can get a flower. I think they're called smiley flowers, specifically, but I don't really care, to be honest. Um... Okay. Ground pound. Wing ha! Yeah, you you can ground pound. It's cool. Look at how Yoshi turns into like a hammer. If you press up during your ground pound, then you'll stop. Uh, but it takes a little bit for you to stop. Um. Anyways, yeah, you can. There's like these sponge blocks you can break. I don't know if I talked about that. Uh, I didn't. I don't know why I said that, but whatever. Yeah, you can break these sponge blocks. You can, you can like head bonk them, or you can throw yarn balls at them. And we have a new enemy right here. Um, who we're gonna be hitting with a yarn ball so that we can get them. You can hit bonk the ceiling and then use your tongue immediately to uh, kill one of these dudes. You can angle that upwards, and it'll just shoot in an arc, which is cool. Like, if you just spit an enemy straight out of, like, when you've grabbed them... Oh, shit! Uh, if you spit an enemy straight, like, when you grab them, like, with your tongue, and you just spit them straight out without swallowing them, then, um... Oh, shite. Then you'll, uh, it'll have, like, a little bit of an arc to it. Oh, okay... Yeah, thankfully that's just hearts. Um... Oh dear. Um... Please get me up! Yes. And he broke free. Dang you. Uh, I need to use this freaking yarn ball to actually... This is... This level's a little bit annoying, honestly. The sponge is memorable, to be fair, but I don't know if it's the good kind of memorable. Okay, so yeah, these little, like, Yoshi things give you yarn balls, as many as you want. I'm really bad at explaining things, aren't I? There's a lot of things to explain, okay? I feel like most of it you could just figure out, though. I'm just confused, like, if you screw this up, like, how are you supposed to... Do you just have to retry the level? And you have a really big hitbox. Okay, there you go. Oh yeah, you can throw yarn balls at them, and then like, three yarn balls appear out. So I think that's actually a faster way to get yarn balls from there. Um... Anyways. Uh, let's go down. And... Yeah, basically the nipper plants is what they're called. These little fuzz things fall down. And when they reach the ground, they turn into a nipper plant. If you eat them beforehand, you don't get a yarn ball out of them. 
but they do just die immediately. Yeah, Yoshi doesn't have to swallow them or anything. But he doesn't get a yarn ball, so it could be beneficial to like actually leave them, you know. Uh, I don't know if there's a better way to do that. Honestly, that was pretty perfect. Uh, but I'm gonna grab more yarn balls and then go into this pipe that we have unveiled. And then eventually this commenta commentary will probably stop. <laughs> like, it only gets so complicated, man. <laughs> it's Yoshi's Woolly World. This is a game designed for children. They're supposed to be able to understand it. You know. And you can uh, hit flowers with yarn balls. So that's what I just did right there. Um, yeah, that might prove useful for us. So you see, there's a little suspicious looking spot right there. Just like an empty little thing. And what do you know? There's an invisible cloud. And it just so happened to have a stamp. Hidden. Um. Oh. Wow. Oh, and there's a little thing. Okay, that was just hearts. So I'm gonna go down here. And hit this cloud. And we got a red yarn. And we're looking pretty good on the yarn. We've got four yarn. Um, we're great spelunkers. Throw your yarn up. You can jump on the plant. And that'll kill him. Yeah, you cannot jump on the plants normally. Like, you can't just jump on them or eat them with your tongue. You gotta throw your yarn ball at them first. Or execute them via some other means. Um, but yeah, we're chugging along. Uh, push this little chain chomp down this way. Yeah, just let them roll through. Um, there's a little thing right here. Get it. And there's actually sussy things up here. Uh, Smiley Fire, hopefully that's the third one it is. Okay, I was getting a little worried. Uh, we have four yarn already. Which I don't really get why, but... Oh, cool. Uh, and some more platforms grow. There. I'm just gonna eat these, because there's this little block right here. So there's not really much of a point in, like... Alright, so I'm gonna use my, um, my freaking lock right here. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, I don't know why that was- Oh, that worked out so perfectly. No, that was totally calculated. Whatever. Um, alright, let's go. Yeah. Uh, boing. Nice. We go down this way. You just want to check every nook and cranny, really. Like, you're kind of forced to. If you don't remember exactly where everything is. Or don't have a guide or something, you know? Uh. So we're just gonna go down here. And I think that's, uh, yeah, that's our last yarn. So we've got all the stuff we need for the next Yoshi. Boing. Get a stamp right there. I... I don't think... We can try and... Oh! Oh dear. Okay, we got there. Um, okay, there was... I was like, this, this looks a little suspicious, you know? Like, I feel like we might be able to go up here, and we could. Thankfully, I checked there. Um, so hopefully I didn't miss other stuff. Hopefully this is a stamp. It is. Um, I'm gonna grab more yarn balls, because I'm kind of concerned. I don't- there's probably not a reason to be concerned, but... Oh, well that was a waste of a big yarn ball. 
They just kind of randomly appear, the big yarn balls, when you hit them out of that thing. So we're gonna go like this. There's still two stamps left, so hopefully I didn't miss them. Boing. But we have escaped. Yeah, that just kind of clipped inside of us. So yeah, you can kill chomps with uh, piranha plants. I don't know why I called them chomps. We're rolling a chomp. Uh-oh. Don't tell me. No, I missed a stamp. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. It appears we have missed a singular stamp. So we're going to have to play the level over again, unless... <laughs> oh no. This is so sad. And I missed the bonus game too. <laughs> okay, skip, 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 skip. We were close, but... We'll see what new Yoshi we created. That's always exciting to me, you know? This is one of the best parts about this game, just getting the new Yoshi. And we've collected 50 stamp patches, cool. But we haven't collected 60. Um, whoa! Uh, you needed Circus Yoshi back together, and see how that makes no sense whatsoever? Well, technically it does, but we'll get to that. Um, I won't play Circus Yoshi just yet. We still need to find the stamp, unfortunately. So I'll get to you guys when I find the stamp. Oh, that's some bowl. It was just a hidden cloud right here above this pipe. That's what I mean. It's just like some of these collectibles are just randomly hidden out of sight. And I know that can be like annoying for... I know that's annoying. But um... I tolerate it because uh... I like this game. So now I'm just gonna speed run to the finish because there's nothing else I need to do. Because you know, I've got 20 stamps now. So I have uh... gotten all the requirements I need to 100% the level. Yay, the stamp requirement is complete. And now we have a star on the level. Cool. Time to switch to Circus Yoshi. Big Montgomery's Fort. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Who is Big Montgomery, though? You might be asking. Well, we're about to find out. Oh gosh. Is that you, Big Montgomery? No, that's a Monty Mole. And we got these new... So we got Monty Moles as a new enemy. And we've also got these big, like, spiky mace things. So I hit them with my yarn ball. So now he is added to the scrapbook theater. We might check that out at the end of this episode. I think we will. Um, so yeah, there's these spiky things. Sweet. So we can unravel this. Hopefully there's not important things that I'm forgetting to mention. Nice, got a stamp. Oh, oh. Well, I tried to sneak past that, and, uh, didn't really work. Yeah, you don't want to be, um... Oh, he's down there. You don't want to be, um... You want to be patient. Ah, oh, crap. You know what, I'm just gonna do this. It's easier. Can you ground pound these? I don't know if he can. Um, but I am going to take this path, because I'm sc uh, I was gonna say, I'm scared that... I'm missing shit, but I'm hoping I'm not, because it doesn't look like there's really a way to go back without taking a hit. Uh, otherwise, it's like really tight and not easy. Um, 
Okay, well we got a new room here. So we got a new, like, gimmick. These rotating platforms. You can jump up through them, you can stand on them. Uh... Ooh, it's getting fiery in here. So you can eat these guys, I think. Oh no, you can't. I think you might be able to hit them with a fire... Uh, ooh, you cannot hit them with a yarn ball. You cannot. And a new platform, too! Another new platform. So we got this, like, seesaw platform. Works about how you expect it would. Um... Get a yarn right there, nice. Hit that forest green shy guy. So there might be secret shit, like, I'm... Missing, hopefully not. Ugh. Jump up here, nice. Flower. Second flower. I have two, um... Two... Uh... Like... Two flowers and two yarn is what I was trying to say. Um, so let's go down here. Open this up. Yeah, I was a little scared of that. Okay, and I have failed. So you don't want to go too far. Otherwise, you'll end up accidentally bouncing up here. Whoa. Yeah. And, uh, this is just where we came from, I think. Yeah. So I've gotten hit twice this level. Um, definitely a little more dangerous. Uh, but hopefully I can finish the level with full health. That's all that matters. Just if you can finish the level with full health. You get health from checkpoints. And if you find, like, clouds with health in them. Which I'm going to be constantly checking for. Okay. And we got the stamp. That's some good maneuvering. From your boy. Playing with fire here. I'm scared there might be clouds. Are there- is there a cloud down here? No? Okay. Seems like a suspicious spot. Oh gosh, I almost screwed that up. Oh. Stamp. My game lagged a little bit there. It's looking kind of scared. I don't know I'm not going down here. Like... And there could be clouds down here that I'm missing. Oh gosh, don't jump down though. That'd be bad. Hey, you got a yarn. Alright, that's all the beads. Maybe... Right, you just gotta be, uh, gotta be hyper-cautious, hyper-careful, paranoid, whatever the frick you wanna say. Um, oh, there's another, oh, okay, okay. Nice. Nice. And we can go through this. And get our fourth flower. And we can jump back, get this. Alright, cool. Alright. I think we're good. Not quite at full health. Which makes me sad. I wanna be at full health so I can get the... You know. Get the shit. Um... Yeah, some moles are appearing. That much should be pretty obvious. Boing. Hey, you got all the flowers. So just some careful moseying. Uh, and I feel like there's uh, stupid stuff around here. I believe we have to go around. Yeah. Come on. Oh, hearts. Good. Good, good, good. For once, I want hearts. Okay, so now this shit appears on the ground. Uh, I want to get this bead right here. Yep, it is a stamp. What do you know? And another stamp. We're almost at 20. Um, so we want to wait for this to go around. And then we want to follow it. Let her jump up. Come on. Hit this cloud. 
Oh, I've missed a yarn. That is not cool, man. Not cool at all. Uh, I have a feeling that's the last stamp. It's just a feeling. It is. So I've missed a yarn somewhere. And I've lost my heart. I think there's usually a heart, like, near the door. And there is. Yeah, so near boss doors, there's usually a heart. So all I have to do is just not get hit. Oh, wait, spoiler alert, there's a boss? What? Who knew there would be a boss in a Yoshi game? Like, who knew, dude? Um, so anyways, we jumped down. Is it that you, Yoshi baby? You can chase me, but you're not going to get the yarn back. Say hello to Big Montgomery and say goodbye to your chances of winning. Oh no. What's this stupid mole gonna do? Oh. He's gonna grow a little bit. He's still not that intimidating, I'm gonna be honest. So I think you wanna avoid the ground pound. I'm gonna jump on his head. And stomp his tushy. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Oh no! Oh no, I have to jump over that. That was so hard to dodge. If I get here, hit here, I'm actually going to be pretty frustrated with myself. You can jump on him immediately. Yeah. You gotta ground pound his butt. Oh no, I think this one bounces. So you can just walk under it. Yeah. Okay, and more. I don't even know if you have to, like, jump when he ground pounds. So anyways, grab all the beads quick. And... Dun, 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 That's my impression of Yoshi. And yay, we finished with full health. Uh, all the flowers and stamps, but we missed one piece of yarn, which we're gonna have to go back to get. Unfortunately. Got a new power badge. Cool. I believe that's, uh, okay. New level. Cool, cool. Um, I believe the power badge is, like, if you fall into a pit, you can... Fall into a pit? No problem. Yep. You just fall into a pit and you get sent right back up. I don't think you even take damage or anything. You just... You just bounce out, which is great. It costs a lot, but... It's a very, very good power badge. Um, I might use power badges if I feel like it, but, um... Ow! Oh. Uh, you gotta check every single freaking spot. Yeah, whenever I miss something, it's always gonna be an invisible object somewhere but uh yeah that's where the last yarn is between those two little monty mole things i guess all right well see you uh, in the in, on craft island wah, 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 all brown wall wham bet you're expecting monty mole yoshi no hot cocoa yoshi nice well, we'll, we'll, we'll play as Hot Coco Yoshi later. Let's check out the scrapbook theater again. And actually, like, look at stuff this time. So first of all, let's go over the music. The music's pretty cool. So you can look at the music. I don't want to listen to this. I want to listen to Bounce About Woods. So you got these little shy guys. I don't know if they're actually, like, playing the music. Like, or if these are, like, the actual notes that are playing. I'm assuming they are. But I don't really get how it works. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's really cool. It's very satisfying just watching these shy guys float across the screen. I don't even know how they're doing it, really. Because how are they doing it? How do they do it? I have no idea. Anyways, you can listen to music here, which is cool. Uh, you can also... Oh no, I didn't mean to exit the theater. So you can also view enemies. So here's the shy guy. He walks around. 
So you got like a whole list of enemies. These are enemies I've hit and I've hit. Hitten is not a word. I've hit with the yarn ball. Um So this shy guy waddles around, he looks around. You can press A and he'll sit down. So some enemies you can press A and they'll do a special action. And you can just watch him. I don't know if you can oh you can change color with a button i actually did not know that oh this is so cool i like this one the most this is my favorite kind of shy guy the dark green one but i mean they are all beautiful this game is part of where my love for shy guys comes from but man so many of them cool Anyways, if you just move to the next one, it's the next enemy in line. It's so number 13, Piranha Plant. Uh, he does not have a special button action. Here's the Nipper Plant. I wasn't kidding when I said that name. Monty Mole, he pops out, runs around. He's funny. Lava Drop. Oh, I actually have hit it with a yarn ball, and it actually did count it as an uh, enemy, so I'm glad I did that. Uh, Big Montgomery. He can make a little f sound and point at you. Cool. And that's it for the enemies we've found so far. There's 73 of them. 64 songs to listen to. Um, and I do like the soundtrack in this game as well. I haven't really talked about that. Uh, we'll get to the songs I like later more. Because I think that... I mean... The songs get better as the game progresses, definitely. The first level is not the best song in the game. Um. However, I think we're gonna leave that here. Uh, I'll have a nice little chat with, um, Coco Yoshi. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.